Things won't be perfect. But in its impossibility, something's going to happen. What you have to say is, I'm going to do the best as I can now. I'll go to the next thing, and I'll do the best as I can there. And it sounds trite, it sounds superficial, but believe me, it's not. Great, so you're saying the worse it is, the better uh, we did. We have to keep, keep going. It seems stupid, isn't it, like simplistic? Yeah, it is. This is a matter of identity. Who am I? I'm not great, I'm not shit. I don't want to look at myself like that. I look at myself just in terms of the habits with which I take action. If there's a failure or a big success, by the way, either way, you're going to keep going. I assume those of you who try to improve your speaking skill right now struggle with making mistakes. Maybe you're making grammar mistakes. Maybe you're making pronunciation mistakes. Maybe you're not able to complete a full sentence. Making mistakes every time while you're speaking might be so detrimental. You might feel so overwhelmed or frustrated by making mistakes every single time. So I, I, I've been there, okay? I went through the same process. Now, first of all, I wanted to look at this clip, okay, guys? I remember one word, you know, that our teacher was said to me, told us, told us at the time. That was our teacher said at the time, you know. Okay, our teacher was said, our teacher told us, our teacher said. Now, as you can see, guys, when I first said, our teacher was said. That is a terrible grammar mistake, okay? And that is a huge mistake. This is from right beginning of the 2020. When you speak, these words have to come out of your mouth without thinking, without hesitating. In this video, I make pronunciation mistake and instead of like thinking, I say thinking. Because I wasn't able to say think, I was always saying thinking. If you wanna really get rid of the mistakes that you're making while you're speaking, you need to realize two important things about speaking language. The first thing is, you need to understand the way we speak. When we speak, whether that's your first language or second language English, when we speak, we speak without thinking. Like every single line, every single word come out of our mouth without thinking. And there is no thinking process. When we speak, we don't contemplate uh, what we're gonna say. We don't think about the things that we're gonna say. Like we speak automatically, right? Just think about how you speak in your first language, right? I mean, you just speak, right? You don't think what you're gonna say. You don't think about the words or you don't think about the grammar structure while you're speaking. When you speak, sometimes you might realize that you make mistakes. You make grammar mistakes or you make pronunciation mistakes. Even though you know that you're making mistakes, you are aware of your mistakes, they just come out of your mouth. Knowing every single grammar rule, knowing every single rule is not gonna be enough for you to avoid mistakes while you're speaking. You can know every single grammar rule, every single pronunciation rule, but when you speak, sometimes those mistakes might come out of your mouth. That's the first thing that you need to understand. Maybe instead of saying like, she always does this, you say she always do that. And you're like, oh, I made a mistake again. And even though you know that you're making a mistake, you can help yourself. That's the first problem that you need to realize. Because when we speak, there is no thinking process. So how to deal with that? That's the problem. Right now it's almost 9 p.m. and I'm gonna do shadowing. Shadowing is one of the most important part of reducing mistakes. Shadowing helps you to reduce your mistakes. The most important thing that we gain by doing shadowing is you start to speak automatically. And the other thing is obviously learning English with script methods. And I'm gonna explain to you guys how can you improve your grammar by studying with scripts? How can you improve your grammar without studying grammar, without learning grammar? Think about how we learned our first language. We learned our first language without learning grammar. Nobody taught us grammar, right? For instance, I just said, and I'm gonna explain to you guys how can you improve your grammar. I'm gonna explain to you guys how can you learn grammar without learning grammar. Normally, I was supposed to say, I'm gonna explain to you guys how you can learn grammar without learning grammar. Now, instead of saying like, how you can, I said, how can you? Now, I know it's a mistake, okay? I know the rule, I made a mistake. But even though I know it's a mistake, I'm aware that it's a mistake, it just came out of my mouth in a wrong way. In order to this sentence to come out of my mouth in the right way, I need to keep practicing. Recently within the last couple weeks, recently within the last couple weeks, recently within the last couple weeks, I've been really enjoying like getting dressed up to go to bed. I've been really enjoying getting dressed up recently within the last couple weeks, you know, recently within the last couple weeks, I've been really enjoying.
Also, my pronunciation is not so good. The shadowing also helps me to improve my pronunciation and I need to improve myself every single day and my pronunciation can get better every single day by practicing more and more. I'm just annoyed because I have to go all the way downstairs and get them and put them on. If you want one advice from me guys, I learned grammar without learning grammar. That's, this is something that I always talk about in my videos. How can you do that? Like, how can you improve grammar? How can you start to make right sentences? Now, I'm gonna give you guys one scene from friends. You know, let's say you're learning English with my methods, AK methods, and there's this scene, okay? For instance, look at it, guys. I remember when I first came to this city, I was 14. My mom had just killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was like cleaning windshields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. <laughs> and then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how you feel. I remember when I first came to the city, I was 14. My mom had killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison. And I got here and I didn't know anybody. And I ended up living with this albino guy who was cleansing a few shields outside Port Authority. And then he killed himself. And then I found aromatherapy. So believe me, I know exactly how we feel. That is a great example. What is this? What's so great about this scene is my mom had killed herself. That's the first grammar. And my stepdad was back in prison. That's the second one. I got here. Grammar 3, I didn't know anybody. Grammar 4, I ended up living with this albino guy. Grammar 5, who was cleaning windshields. Grammar 6, and then he killed himself. Grammar 7. Okay, while well, you're going over this story without looking at the text again and again you're gonna see that over time you start to use the right grammar structures like right grammar rules okay you start to speak in the right way i remember when i first came to the city i came to the city my mom had killed herself and my stepdad was back in prison this is how kind of you're gonna incorporate those write expressions into your speech. Every single year you're gonna make less mistake because you're gonna kinda like internalize the way native speakers speak, okay? This is how I work on my speech. There are also negative sides of learning every single grammar rule or focusing on grammar rules because if you are so self-conscious of your mistakes, if you always think about the grammar rules or mistakes that you're making while you're speaking, that is gonna prevent you from speaking English fluently because you're always gonna be so self-conscious the way you sound, the way you make sentences, you're always gonna be like, did I make mistake? Oh my God, I make this mistake. Then you're gonna start to stop yourself from speaking fluently because you're so self-conscious of your mistakes and you, you're gonna start to have this fear. What if I make this mistake, you know? And you're always gonna start to think about all the rules, all the right things that you have to do, you have to say while you're speaking and that's gonna put a lot of pressure on you while you're speaking. The only way of making progress, the only way of getting rid of the mistakes that you're making is to not think about the mistakes that you're making, is to practice every single day. When I was in high school, our teacher, one of my teachers used to tell me that always make sure that you run out of rubber before the pencil. This clip is from May 15, 2020. Uh, I was in the lockdown when I was filming this clip and I want to show you guys because I was practicing because at the time in 2020 I was planning on starting my YouTube channel and I was kind of like practicing, you know, trying to improve myself. Even before making this video, you know, even making before making this video, I make a lot of mistakes in terms of grammar, in terms of pronunciation. I'm not good at all, you know, but that means it doesn't mean you know i can't do that you know that means yes i make a lot of mistakes it means arsen you have to work more and more but you can always move forward you can always be you can always get better and better there is you're you've never fully done okay you've never fully done as much as you keep working there is nothing to worry i don't want to look at myself like that i look at myself just in terms of the habits with which i take action if there's a failure or a big success by the way either way you're gonna keep going uh, for instance this is a very nice clip guys from 2020 even though i speak english right i'm able to make sentences and communicate with people i make mistakes and that is driving me crazy 
that is driving me crazy i'm making mistakes and i could have stopped at this point i, I could have been like dude i'm i've been speaking english for the past two years but i still make grammar mistakes i still make pronunciation mistakes okay and that really drove me crazy at the time but i was like okay i'm not gonna stop okay i'm just gonna do my best I'm just gonna do my best and move on to the next point, move on to the next journey, move on to the next step, okay? And I don't care. I don't care if I fail or if I succeed. I'm just gonna keep going. I can never stop. And when it comes to getting rid of the mistakes, when it comes to getting rid of these grammar mistakes, pronunciation mistakes, you just need to keep going. You can't stop, okay? What you have to say is I'm gonna do the best as I can now. I'll go to the next thing and I'll do the best as I can there. And it sounds trite, it sounds superficial, but believe me, it's not. And today, these days, you know, if you watch my YouTube videos since the beginning of my YouTube channel, you can see I make still mistakes. But I'm not making mistakes as much as I used to do two years ago. Two years from now, I'm gonna make less and less mistakes, okay? Because I keep going, okay? I just keep practicing. The only mistake that you need to avoid, guys, never be satisfied with your level. You're never done. If English is your second language and if you're not living in a country where you can't speak English, or if you're not surrounded with people that speak English, you can never be done, okay? You're never done. For instance, I make YouTube videos, I speak English every single day, but I'm never done, okay? There is always room to grow. There is always room for speaking better. There is always room for making progress. You can watch my videos and you can find my mistakes. And I, I don't delete those mistakes or I don't edit out those mistakes because I want to just see those mistakes when I make mistakes. Mistakes are a huge part of the progress. Before we end this video, guys, you gotta understand this. Every step of the way of learning English process, you are gonna make mistakes. Even though you get to that level where you speak English fluently, you're gonna make mistakes. You just need to trust the process. Just keep practicing, okay? Just try to internalize uh, every single line that native speakers make, make, make native speakers say. And you're gonna see that over time as, time, as time goes on, you start to incorporate the right expressions, the way native speakers speak into your speech, okay?